Hey everybody, my name is Dylan Lowe. I'm a rotor student here at SUU. Hopefully in this video, you'll be able to get a feel of what it's like to be a, be a student here and to kind of help you understand what my everyday life is like. So my background in aviation, I haven't had very much before I came here to this school. I had flown before with my friend's father who took us up in one of his Cessna airplanes. And I, had, I really enjoyed it then and I knew that that's kind of what I wanted to do. And then I came here to SUU and flew in a helicopter for the first time and I was hooked. I, was, I knew that was something I wanted to do. And I've started, been, I've been flying in R44 Ravens and Cadets. I've been able to fly in both. But mainly, I've, I've been assigned to fly in the Cadet. And my favorite aircraft, they both fly about the same. But I like flying the Raven because it's cooler when you start it up. I chose SUU because of its rotor wing program. It's the number one rotor wing program in the, in the nation. We have the biggest fleet. And that was a big seller for me. Um, it was then that I started, it was when I started learning more about the program, kind of doing my own research, kind of looking stuff up on Google, and really coming to understand what all of this program had that made me want to come here. My favorite part of this program would probably have to be the flying part. I love it. It's so fun to be, have the sky above you and the ground beneath you, and just kind of be living life in that in-between space. I love it. It's so much fun. Uh, currently, I do not have very many flight hours. I've got about 27. Not very many, but I'll be getting there. This is only my, my starting my second semester here, so. I'd say what makes me feel mo the most safe is being here is just the instructors are really, really, really great. They push safety hardcore. And everything that we do, we make sure we do it perfectly. We make sure that it's gonna be within a safe zone so there won't be any accidents that ever occur or ever happen. So that always makes me feel really safe. The job that I have here working at SUU is I'm just a student outreach. I'm like a, kind of like a recruiter almost for, for the program. I just kind of, if you ever try to apply for the program, you'll probably talk to me or someone on my team and we just will kind of help answer questions about the program if you have any. And we also do tours here at the hangar. Um, some of my future goals in aviation are to eventually get hired on here at SUU as an instructor and be able to build up some hours that way. And then I want to eventually become a life flight pilot. When I was a kid, I was life flighted. And ever since then, I've kind of wanted to make it a goal to kind of pay it back by doing the same thing. My favorite part about Cedar City is that it's a small town. I'm from a small town. And so it's kind of got that small town feel, but there's also a lot of mountains that you can go and explore. And then when you fly, it's really beautiful because you got Zions right here. You got Bryce Canyon, it's not too far away. And it's just the scenery, I really like it. Outside of flying, I really like fishing and hunting and just hanging out with my family. I really enjoy the outdoors. So I think that's, why, that's probably one of the reasons why I love flying is because you can see all the wildlife, you can see all the deer and the coyotes that are everywhere. Uh, why I would recommend coming to SUU is because it's a great program here. You can really learn how to fly really well. Because we are at such a high elevation, you kind of get that, that training that you need. And I, I, would on, I would honestly recommend it, hands down. Because the training that you'd get here is top of the notch. And you would not be disappointed. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you found the video helpful. If you liked it, go ahead and give us a like. And if you loved it, you can leave a uh, comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.